Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance, ripping out another frequently asked question video for you guys. And today, I wanted to talk about a la carte lawn care service or, or running your business a la carte versus a new concept to the industry, uh, new to me at least, and that is having a seasonal price for all of your services and having a monthly uh, kind of rider every single month for all the services that you offer. I'm gonna break this one down. I got some thoughts that I wanna share with you guys and of course get your uh, opinion on this because this one is new to me. Let's check it out inside. All right, what's up guys? My name is Brian and I'm all about helping you guys grow a more successful business so you guys can go out there and crush it. And something that has been popping up more and more that I have seen, especially on Instagram, uh, from a lot of you guys is uh, from offering your business from an a la carte standpoint, meaning you have monthly mowing, you have an aeration you do for 50 bucks and you charge 50 bucks, you do an $800 mulch install, you charge 800 bucks a la carte versus having a flat rate, a seasonal flat 12 out of 12 month rate for all the said services that that company or that customer wants and you break it up into a monthly uh, rider. For example, your customer is getting $2,500 worth of work and you're breaking $2,500 up over 12 months, whether it's winter, whether it's spring, whether it's summer or fall, doesn't matter. It's a flat 250 bucks a month, let's just say, to offer the same services. Now, uh, I have not personally dealt with this uh, at all, and I am actually really standoffish on it. So I really would love to hear your guys' thoughts, for real. And a lot of you guys that are starting to offer it, I wanna know uh, the benefits of it and why you guys are starting to offer this kind of thing. So this whole discussion, it kinda makes sense because you have annual income, if you think about it, uh, and let's just uh, you know kind of think about snow in its own right because um, you know snow removal for us in the Midwest and Northeast it's a it's a cash cow and that's kind of how we keep uh, 12 out of 12 months business. But for some of you guys, especially in the South, uh, you know let's just say you take that three grand for that service for the year and you break it up $300 a month or $250 a month for the year. I guess it is a fair way to keep your income coming in year round and also make it easier on the customer. The problem I have for that though is how do you control your costs? How do you control the runaway prices on all the different things that could change week to week, month to month, year to year? For example, we would never do a flat rate for salt for uh, anybody in the Midwest because the price of salt can double in two months based on availability. Uh, same thing, uh, another question I had about the 12 out of 12 month uh, program offering is, you know, what if the customer bails out after you do a you know, $1,000 mulch job, a $300 spring cleanup, and you get two months of mowing in, and they're paying 250, 250, 250, 250, and then they quit, and you've got uh, a quarter of your money in of what you've already done, which would have been half the actual revenue for that whole contract for the year. You know, what if they get laid off, they pass away, they move, or they just stiff you? Um, I just personally see a bunch of red flags in that kind of a business model. Now, here's what I'll also say is that I feel like some of this sounds good in theory, but what you really need to do is probably get a better handle on your cash flow and knowing your costs versus trying to break it down to have 12 out of 12 worth of income, which I'm a big proponent for, uh, but not at the risk of spending money on services, hoping to collect or hoping to just have annual income for the sake of having annual income. It sounds good in theory to the customer because to them it's 250 bucks a month. They don't have to think about it. They just keep paying it along the way. But again, man, I just don't understand how you can uh, balance out your costs with labor, with keeping uh, you know, employees. Um, you know, Again, it's just what if you lay $850 worth of mulch and that customer stiffs you, man, two months later and they say, you know what, we're done with this whole monthly thing and you get all the mulch installed. Um, I just see a bunch of red flags with it. Now, again, I, I'm not here to be the answer, man. I love doing YouTube because it, it creates a two-way street, a two-way discussion. And for all of you guys, and again, I'm not throwing this business model under the bus. Uh, I think it's really cool. I just don't understand the merits of it all just yet. So that's why I want a discussion with you guys to see what you think and how you guys are actually approaching this 12 out of 12 month uh, whole program. Somebody had just emailed me like two days ago. And let's just say, for example, uh, it is $150 a month to mow it, okay? 
high or low doesn't matter and he wanted to do the customer wanted to pay for the whole eight month season out of uh, paying for it for 12 months and I said sounds good in theory until month eight when the grass stops growing is that customer still gonna be paying the uh, hundred dollars a month if it's you know broken down and levied out over 12 months how is, is that customer still gonna pay a hundred dollars a month for the grass uh, from you know July August September is he still gonna pay that hundred dollars a month that it's all distributed equally over January February March December January February March I just I, I feel like if I was a customer I'd, I'd cancel that I'd say you know what peace out and if you don't have contracts to enforce that and you know then you start chasing money and it just kind of turns ugly so anyway let let me know your guys thoughts I'm not if, if you're doing this and you're doing 12 out of 12 months um, I'm not opposed to it again I'm still learning this is one of those videos for darn sure that I'm not the authority on so I want to get your guys uh, conversation going and discussion going and pick your brain because if there is some merit to it and it can help the industry as a whole especially owner operators then we might be looking at one of the newest things that could help all of us save time money and also service the customer in a better fashion and I'm all about those three things so educate me let me know what you guys think uh, 12 out of 12 months or a la carte I'm a big proponent of if I'm doing work or moving I want to get paid I don't want to do things that uh, we're trying to you know spread over a, a different time frame uh, over three six nine twelve months right so I'm a big a la carte guy if we do an aeration we get paid for the aeration if we do mulch we get paid for mulch if we do four out of four cuts we get paid for out of four cuts so anyway let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below guys that's it we'll catch you on the next one